special story <laughs> like that today or recently. That's right. I've already sent one to college. I sent the baby Aww. to college over the weekend. So he's down at UNC Chapel Hill. He's fine. I don't know about me. <laughs> It'll get better, right? It, it will, it will. <laughs> no, actually, it's really bittersweet. Very excited for him. And of course, new beginnings for mom and dad, right? Well, we're going to talk about our forecast as we move ahead. And it's going to be a bit different than what we had over the weekend. You know, thankfully, move in day for a lot of folks this past weekend in the Carolinas had some sunshine and some cooler than normal temperatures. And no one was complaining about that. There you see the campus of North Carolina A&T State University. Now the change comes in the skies with gray skies and rain in the forecast, even the possibility of severe thunderstorms. We have drier skies perhaps for the middle part of the week. It's going to stay cool this week with highs in the 70s and 80s. And then coming up toward the weekend, our storm chances will go back up. So highest storm chance right now, 70% on Monday and then dropping off a little bit for the middle part of the week. So good coverage of rain in our forecast for Monday. So if you've been hoping for a little bit more wet weather, you've got a good chance of that. We've got cooler temperatures too on the order of 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, our high this this afternoon was below normal at 83 degrees. Morning temperatures in the low 60s. It's going to be a bit muggy and yeah, a bit warmer tomorrow morning. Our temps right now are in the upper 60s and low 70s. So you can see some of that rain already moving in and perhaps you're hearing the noise particularly in Wilkes County, where we've got some thunderstorms over the western part of the county. Some heavy rain as well from Mount Airy all the way back toward Wilkesboro. We actually had that flood advisory issued just before 11 o'clock. It does include western Wilkes, so along the mountainous areas, up into Allegheny, Ash, as well as Watauga counties until about 2 a.m. You see the heaviest of rains right now just west of Wilkesboro. I was zoomed in here and I saw some one to two inch rainfall rates in an hour's time moving over Highway 421. Trap Hill also with heavy downpours right now. We've already had about an inch, an inch and a half in some of these communities, so we'll be adding to that. We're also going to bring some of the rain in across the Piedmont triad from King Mount Airy down into Winston-Salem. We do have that risk for excessive rain or flooding tonight and then into tomorrow. It kind of slides to the east across central North Carolina. We also switch from rain to severe weather have a marginal risk category for severe storms which may develop over our area. Main threat is damaging winds. We also were in that hail zone, but because of the setup in the atmosphere, we cannot rule out isolated tornadoes as an area of low pressure is going to track down and overhead we will have waves of rain in the forecast, meaning it can rain overnight like you see there. It can rain in the morning tomorrow. It could also rain in the afternoon and evening. I do think we'll see some rain kind of picking up tomorrow afternoon and then kind of pushing through the Piedmont triad during the late afternoon and evening hours. So we have a pretty good coverage of showers and storms at some point during the day tomorrow. High temperature in the low 80s for the Piedmont. Again, there could be some thunder around even in the morning and wet weather for the morning commute. High temperature in the foothills in the upper 70s and our mountain temperatures are in the 60s for the most part with temperatures in the low 70s. So again, it's going to be cooler than is normal this week. Those temperatures will be in the upper 70s. We do have rain chances just about every day, but I think a little less of it in the middle part of the week. All right.